How's it going everyone? Sephir here and welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. This is going to be day 21 in the Ultimate Guide series and we got a bunch of exciting things to talk about. I've been running some XP calculations and some weapon calculations so we can go ahead and take a look into some of those things. But before we get into the breakdown, 70% of you are not subscribed to the channel. You guys watch this video, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. So go ahead and smash that button. We also have a membership down below if you're interested in that. You can hit join and get some special perks on the channel as well. So now let's go into the breakdown that we've gotten that out of the way. There are a lot of exciting things today. So we're going to go into the news, the new stuff. Then we're going to jump into the speed run daily checklist, followed up by the extra daily checklist. And finally, the after all that section where we wrap up a few things that are good for reminders. So first, let's talk about the brand new stuff. The wormhole has reset. So if you go ahead and check out your challenge section here, the wormhole will be reset. Rewards have been calculated. You should have received 280 gold dust if you had cleared everything. And if you notice, you won't be able to challenge the purple mode on endless anymore. So you will have to go to Virgo, the gold mode on endless, and you will be able to challenge this. You will get 20 gold dust per floor that you clear. So make sure you're going in there and re-clearing before this five day timer is up once again so that you can get some extra gold dust because trust me you're gonna need it for that gold legendary equipment now that we've talked about wormhole we're gonna go into some weapon material calculations we are level 54 right now so i do want everyone to just be aware that when we go up to level 55 you will need another six of the tier two material <laughs> as well as six more of the tier two material for the smaller version so that's going to be 12 total per weapon that you level up so this is coming soon not tomorrow but the day after tomorrow so just keep that in mind and start preparing for that so if you need these boxes if you need these materials these weapon materials to rank up your weapons you might want to start planning ahead for that now because you're going to be in trouble when level 110 arrives for the weapons at level 55 and you don't have enough materials and then you're going to be backtracking real fast best way to get those is going to be the stargates with the three star stargates and if you can't find that then hey dimensional trial is always there for you so with that out of the way just make sure you have three sets of those ready so you can calculate which weapons you're using and you can go ahead and pre-see what you're going to need to get and that's going to help you out along the way so make sure you're stocking up on the appropriate materials and targeting the stargates and using your box on the materials that you actually need so that you're ready to go and set up once you have that covered, I did want to make an announcement that we did put out previous warnings, but the events for the executor training and the summer sea breeze are over. You can no longer get those anymore, so you can check those out. You can see that they do not exist in the game at this time, so keep that in mind. And on that topic, I will give you a final warning that Nemesis Banner is going away in one day and five hours from the time of this video release. So go ahead and pull for your Nemesis if that is a character that you want. If you want to make a Volt team, now is your last chance because this character is going away and may not be back for quite some time. So just final warning on that fair game after that let's talk about that level 55 a little bit because some people speculate that at level 55 you're going to be going to artificial island that might be a thing <laughs> that might be a thing we don't know for certain yet so it's not 100 percent but we might start seeing some progress unlocked towards that and if we do that's going to change a lot of things the way that we deal with matrices and also just having another really fun content avenue in the game so hopefully we get that where we'll, we'll see we'll see it'll take about two days for us to reach that cap and we'll see how that goes but i just wanted to give you a quick heads up that that might be a possibility not 100 percent then we're going to jump into the Clotho Supply Pod that has reset if you were somebody who purchased it for 300 Dark Crystals to get that timer going early. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you purchase them for 300 Dark Crystals on the 80% to get them going a little bit faster, you will get one extra set, the, the math comes down to, one extra set of either 10 Gold Nucleus or 10 Matrices Rolls per month for 900 dark crystals so this is only good for whale players and maybe really top tier dolphins uh, so just keep that in mind if not just go ahead and bank on the free stuff so hopefully that's coming up pretty soon 
then we are going to talk about the shop. The shop does have some new items. If you go to the commissary, you will be able to see the crystal dust store, and you will notice that we have two additional gold legendary items inside of the shop. We have the boots and the shoulders. The boots are very powerful because they can have a random roll of crit on them. So this could be a time where you could consider going for a pair of boots to get yourself something nice that you can power up your CS, and it can go quite a long way. I would say, however, However, that it would be a little bit better to hold out for the gloves because the gloves are the most important piece because they have crit built into them and then the possibility to roll crit. So you're going to spend some time trying to get the perfect pair of gloves. So if you want to wait, you know, two days, that might be the play. So you can go ahead and hold on to your dust for that. I am going to do that exactly. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go into our speed run daily checklist, and we have a few new things in here, so it's going to shake it up a little bit. We're going to talk about some XP calculations and how we're going to level, because I know if you noticed a little bit before when I showed my character screen, we had a phenomenal jump in terms of experience needed going to level 55, and we'll start talking about that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing you need to do every day is go ahead and do your bounties. Claim your bounties. You're going to get good XP for it, about 300,000, so it should be nice. Hopefully you get some good ones. Then you're going to want to check on your main story and determine whether or not you want to do it based on the amount of experience you need towards the end of the thing. I did complete my main story today. I used it to reach my threshold so that I could level up a little faster, and I got like 330k experience for it. It was pretty cool, and the cutscene for it was amazing. I liked the whole deal with Valkyrie and everything. I won't spoil it, but it was definitely awesome and sets up the plot for the future. Next, we have the runes. We have two new runes today. If you go ahead and check in, we will have D01, I believe, on normal mode, and D02 on normal mode. So those will be the two free ones. So you're going to get containment shards as well as the omnium barrier, which is pretty good. Uh, sorry, confinement, not containment. <laughs> so that's going to be nice for it in there. Make sure you are claiming your Mia's Kitchen at some point in the day because you will get about 100,000 experience from those three claims. So that is very good. And then once you have done all that, let's talk about Vitality. So there are two routes at the moment. We do have the Deep Sea Stronghold available today. This is very powerful because it drops two top-tier matrices as well as a pair of pants. They're golden. So this is a very strong... Uh, joint operation to go for. So I would recommend targeting this one today. However, you need to start thinking about those weapon materials as we were talking about before. So check your stargates. Maybe you have a super rare one. If you have two in the material in the first slot, that means you have a three star stargate. So you can just go ahead and scout around and see if you got anything good. If you don't, eh, hey, no worries. There's always the dimensional trials that are available for you, and you can go ahead and head in there, and you will get decent rewards on rank difficulty four, but it is a little bit better to do the other uh, the other side of things. So make sure you're checking out those, and that should help you out towards that weapon progress and towards gear progression as well with the vitality. And then let's talk about the level cap. The level cap today is level 54. You will not be able to go any higher than this. Getting from 53 to 54 will require 1.1 million experience. However, when you hit 54, it now requires 1.6 million experience. You see the massive jump of 500,000 XP. Absolutely crazy. So going to 55 is going to be a bit harder. So the way the math on the experience is going to work out is from bounties, you're probably going to get about 300,000 experience. From Mia's Kitchen every day, you're going to get 100,000 experience total for the three claims. And from spending your vitality, you're going to get about... 200,000 experience. So all in all, it's going to roughly sum up to about 600k, give or take some experience here and there that you're guaranteed every day, right? You're guaranteed this every day because those are just things that you have to do anyways. So that's going to be 1.2 million experience, which would be enough to get us about a level before. So you're going to have to come up with the rest of this experience on your own, right? So I know that since I am now at this point today, Tomorrow, I will get an additional 600k experience, so I should be about 
660,000 roughly if I don't do anything else today. So I will need 1 million bonus experience generated for me tomorrow, and that can be quite complicated to do. However, there are a few good avenues for doing this. I know that the Frontier Clash spam on normal mode gives quite a good bit of experience. Claiming chests is really good, and if you're a veteran chess hunter and you know some routes, you can probably get more experience from doing the chest hunt it is a bit monotonous though i will warn you on that and then the runes if you can stockpile them up or any stories that you have they're starting to give quite a lot of experience as we can see here d0 through uh two on normal is giving 220k experience which is very very powerful so that will get me towards that 1 million goal for tomorrow so i think i'm looking pretty good in addition to like frontier carries that i'm going to be doing plus some other stuff of just playing the game i'll be on track but just make sure you're keeping up with that because when we go for the next level cap you have to get to level 55 at 1.6 million xp then you're gonna have to get to 56 at probably the same if not more it's going to keep going up by a lot and all of the stuff that we were talking about in the guides and the videos before was preparing us for this inevitability right everybody's like oh it's so easy for me to yeah well it's about to get hard now and this is why we've been preparing this is why we've been training and talking about certain things so keep all these things in mind now let's jump into the extra daily checklist. Once you've done all that, go ahead and head over to the challenge section, check out your training. And today I got memory and hunting. I'm loving these exercises. This is definitely my pace. Once you have done those, make sure you go to the map and check out the black market for your daily free gift from Hopkins, as well as Cetus Island claw machine so you can get your free awakening uh, resonance stuff in there. So that's going to be good to go for. And then once you have done those things, go ahead and head to High Crows, do your machine part route, collect all the machine parts here so that you can maintenance your vehicles, which will be our next thing. You're going to get dark crystals for doing that, so make sure all your vehicles are caught up to your level and farm those machine parts if you do not have enough. Then once you have done that, go ahead and check out the shop and you will wanna claim your daily box for free from Mia. And then you're gonna to head to the hot section and determine how many vitality solutions you wanna buy based on the type of player you are. 50, the 50 crystal is recommended for free to play. If you're a dolphin or a whale, you can consider the 100 crystal purchase after that. And if you're a giga whale or a leviathan, you can consider the two 200 purchases following those. Once you have got that, then you should be checking out your support points in the commissary shop. So make sure you are capped today and you have been working towards buying your su joint supply chips as well as your black nucleus. And from there, you can determine if you want gold because I know free to play players and dolphins sometimes lack on some gold. So this could be a good avenue to get 50,000 gold from. And then you could spend the rest on machine parts if you really want. But honestly, you could probably just save it for later. And if you want to check your support points, you can just simply go over here, create a party, and in the top left of the screen, you will see the Newcomer Assistance Reward, and it will tell you how many support points you have at the bottom here. So you can see zero out of 1,500. So I know that I haven't started anything yet, so I got some work to do. So once you have done that, then you can go ahead and finally gather elemental ore on the map. So if you see any around, make sure to go for it because you will be generating crystals, which will feed into your armor pieces. And you're going to need a lot of experience to level up these legendary armor. Trust me on this one. After all of that, I did want to push out a few reminders that you should probably be looking at the weekly activity section and getting any of these easy tasks that you can get like, hey, clear an interstellar exploration one time. You you can do that with or without stamina same with dimensional trials and void rifts so make sure you're getting those free data packs for matrix data because you will run out of matrices data you will run out of like gold and things like that so just keep on top of that make sure you do the ones that you want to do and at this point in time with 2.0 being so close i'm not sure if this five password chest is worth it to get the two chips anymore so we're probably just going to hold off on that one once we have that done, go ahead and check out the PvP section because this will be resetting very soon. On the 1st of September, the ladders are going to roll over and rewards are going to be calculated and issued out. So make sure you're comfortable and happy with the rewards that you're going to be getting for the season. 
Once you have done that, then you're into the long-term goals. So I would really start focusing on your achievements and make sure you get that done. Any mount farming that you need and machine parts, but primarily the achievements is the big concern here because if we do get Artificial Island, we can see that we're going to unlock new achievements. So there's gonna be a lot of new achievements in the Artificial Island that you're gonna to need to get. And if those are available and you have to backtrack for your old achievements, you might not be too happy, right? So start working towards getting all of the achievements that are currently within the game because with artificial island and 2.0 coming up you're going to be seeing large amount of achievement points increases so that's going to push us into the higher category so let's make sure to go ahead and get that done while we may have some downtime at the moment all right that's pretty much going to be it for this one make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell if you have not already or you enjoyed this content and you found it useful we're also going to have a live stream tonight at 6 p.m. EST. And in addition to that, another video at 3 p.m. EST today. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.